Elva Fiddler, we have your cell phone here. Elva Fiddler.
All dancers, if you would please go to the grand entry area. We're now ready for the grand entry. All dancers, please go to the grand entry area. Post drum, stand by.
And then once we had the dancers in the arena, we would just start. And that didn't happen at 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, rock. It happened at any time. And so when you were there, that's when everything started. And uh, henceforth the name uh, Indian Time. And Indian Time means when we're all there, we'll get going. It's not uh, a derogatory, lazy way of thinking. It's just when we all get there, we'll start. So that's what's going on. Can you make a little bit of noise, uh, Florida? Okay, uh, I think some of you still think you're in church. Can you make a little noise, Florida? All right, this time we're gonna have our indigenous people help you out because uh, evidently you're not loud enough. Uh, Florida! And our Started. Uh, are we ready down there? Okay, we're ready. We're gonna go with uh, Kozad Mandarin. Are you ready? Okay, Mandarin, and then right down the line. So that's what we're gonna do. Grand entry, ladies and gentlemen. If you're able to rise and move your headgear, pay respects to our flags of Florida, the United States, the Seminole Tribe, and the POW MIA flag as we bring them in, all of our colors and all of our royalty and dignitary categories and such. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, now entering your arena, we have our men smoke dancers from the Six Nations. How about giving them a warm welcome all the way from Upper New York?
wherever we're at, this is what we call our church, our way of life. And this is a good way of life. And so with that, we call on our, my brothers, the Kozaks, to render our flight song on behalf of all the veterans. And for all of you that are out there, again, I hate saying this, but in a way, it is the equivalent of the national anthem, native style. So I know you've all stood up throughout our grand entry. I want to call on you again to please rise and remove your headgear and pay respects to our flags in the center of the arena.
We always pray at gatherings. We always acknowledge that great power. Whatever you call God, whatever it is in your language that says God's name, we know that there's only one God created all things, created everything, good and bad, because if God did not create it, it would not exist. Whatever God creates, God could extinguish that. That is why we cling on to this precious life that we have. We love the ones that are still with us, but we also remember the ones that have left us. But knowing the teachings of our people, and in our way, there's a place on the other side, as we call it, where there's goodness that they are today. Jerry Cleveland Sr. is going to pray for us. He is remembering that he lost a loved one one year ago, a brother. He remembers 30 years ago that he and his sons would come and help out the Seminoles by putting on shows here. And because they set up a tradition of camaraderie, he always looks forward to his return to South Florida. He said that in the Ho-Chunk way, they stay with the deceased for four days, they take care of that, and they go on their way, and they're taught to not look back, although they're tears in He's feeling that way today, but knowing that the strength of life to share with each other, the goodness that we still have in ourselves, is part of God's creation and a gift to us. He's going to honor the request for prayer, and if you would please join him. Jerry Cleveland Sr. in prayer. I hope. Thank you for the introduction. You say thank you to the Seminole tribe to know that uh, you're a born household and it uh, really hurts when our loved ones leave, but we know they're going to a better place. You know, we back in the old days, our people were poor who when they left because they know they're going to a good place. And uh, today, I'll be praying for our Seminole tribe here and uh, for our other nation and the good things they're doing for us. And our, our head staff here, our MC, is doing a beautiful job, our those drums. Each one of the drums that are come here, each one of my brothers and sisters also dancing. Each one of us, we have a pain in our heart, but we try to enjoy this life. The Creator put us here to enjoy it. So I'm going to say a prayer. I'll be praying for our soldier boys and girls, our mourners, our sick people, our elders, and all of us here. So I ask you to bear with me. I'll uh, say a prayer in our whole language. You know, I get my own, I'm going to want you going to the country. じゃあ、ちょっとね、ちょっとね、ちょっとね、ちょっとね、ちょっとね、ちょっとね、ちょっとね、ちょっとね、ちょっとね、ちょっとね、ちょっとね、ちょっとね、ちょっとね、ちょ
Carrying the Seminole Tribal Flag, Stephen Bowers, U.S. Army Airborne, Vietnam Veteran. And again, ladies and gentlemen, carrying our United States of America flag, PFC, Chirac 1498 Trans Unit out of Riverside, California, on active duty, getting ready to return to Iraq, Mr. Dakota McGurk. Introducing our visiting color guard from Fort Lauderdale, Vietnam Veterans of America, Chapter 23, one of the oldest chapters of the BVA in Florida, carrying the POW and MIA flag, United States Army Sergeant and E-5, Joseph White. <laughs> carrying the BVA, Chapter 23 flag, U.S. Air Force Sergeant Steve Chomil. Carrying the State of Florida flag, U.S. Air Force Staff Sergeant Jim Eller. Carrying the U.S. flag, U.S. Army Sergeant and E-5, Joe Day. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the leadership of the Seminole Tribe of Florida. First of all, we introduce to you the chairman of the Seminole Tribe of Florida, the Honorable Mitchell Cypress. The President of Seminole Tribe of Florida Incorporated, Richard Bauer. The Seminole Trail's liaison to the Tribal Council, William Osceola. Special guests of the Seminole Tribe and the Chairman, a young man that served as in, in Vietnam, he's a combat veteran, 173rd Airborne Brigade from Holdenville, Oklahoma, a member of the Creek and Seminole Nations, Clarence Johnson. A Vietnam veteran, 173rd Airborne Brigade from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, Paul Malden. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and introduce our royalty that is out there. Miss Florida Seminole, Jennifer Chalfit. Junior Miss Florida Seminole, Allie Nunez. Miss Brighton Seminole Princess, Amber Craig. Little Miss Seminole, Brianna Bowers. Little Mr. Seminole, Santiago Billy. His name is Eat Cho. Also, you have University of California, Berkeley, Paul, Princess Brittany Hunter. Seminole Nation of Oklahoma, Senior Princess YZ Narcomy. This Seminole Nation, Tara Lena. Junior Miss Seminole Nation, Megan Larney. Little Miss Seminole Nation, Luann Johnson. We have them all here. We're coming over to our host, Northern Drum, Northern Cree, with a victory song at this time. Uh, gentlemen, do you want to post your colors, or are we taking them out, or taking them out? Okay.
clear the arena. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, uh, again, we mentioned that there's a young gentleman, Dakota McCurk, that is heading back on active duty across the ocean to Iraq. And you know, for our people, our way of life, we honor our warriors. We honor our veterans, their active personnel. Back home, we have a song for them. We bring them into the arena, welcome them, put a box in the arena, and we try to give them whatever we can. Because although the cost of freedom is an expensive one. We don't pay for the cost of freedom in an expensive way. So these individual active service personnel, we try to help out the best way we can because it is them that are on the first line to protect the freedoms that we have. And so I put them first at all times and help them out. At this time, Dakota McGurk just wants to have his family with him. He's called upon Northern Cree to render a... Uh, Steve, is that a personal song or is it his general honor song, right? Okay, it's a general honor song for this young gentleman as he heads back. Muckle Shoot Veterans. So that's what it is. Again, you know, we try to do our best and explain things to different people. We have different ways of life, but at the same time, it comes together. So he has his family, he's asked his family to be out there with him. And, uh, are they with you, Dakota, are they there? Okay, all right. So ladies and gentlemen, again, this is a, General Purpose Honor Song, Muckle Shoot Veteran Song, and we're gonna render this in his behalf. Again, for those of you that don't realize this, a lot of people go and serve, and sometimes life is so precious, we don't know if we're ever gonna see each other again. And so with Native Americans, we never do say goodbye. It's not a word we use. We always say until I see you again. Because believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, whether we go on to the Creator or not, we are gonna see each other again. So it's never not a goodbye. It's until we see you again. So, those are the things. Life is precious. And so, this young man, we're sending him again across the ocean and we want good things for him we want to hold him in our heart along with all the other young men and women that are over there and so hopefully when he gets over there when he sees other people natives he'll say that they sent me off real well i wasn't even in my home tribe area with the seminoles they sent me off in a good way and as Native people, we try to do that for all of our active people going and coming back. So at this time, I'm going to turn it over to Northern Cree.
Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much, Northern Cree. As Lawrence was saying a while ago, Dakota McGirt is going to be able to take this memory for the Seminole Tribe of Florida Color Guard, the Seminole Tribe itself, and all of you kind people here in the Hard Rock Live, the dancers, all of the singers in the audience, you honored him by giving him this moment. He'll take that with him to Iraq. I'm sure that it will hold him in good stead. As we said for all of our warriors before they left, we hope that he will return in sound mind and body, come home safe, and return to his people, and that all things of his life and his family will be even better before he left, and he would enjoy a good life, and that he would be rewarded for the great service, the great sacrifice that he has given for his country, and so that his country could honor him in his heritage and his legacy, and allow him the goodness of the American dream right here in his homeland in the United States. Again, ladies and gentlemen, let's show Dakota McGirt we honor him. Private First Class McGirt. And he truly appreciates his great honor that you have bestowed upon him on this beautiful day. He said, thank you very much to the Seminole Tribe of Florida Color Guard for recognizing him in his service today. He also wants to say thank you to the Seminole Tribe of Florida, the tribal chairman, the president, and all of the Seminole people for allowing him this time. He said he will be leaving for Iraq and he's got a couple of months with us here in the United States until he has to report for duty to go back to Iraq and he's going to go on a very special day April 15th tax day so when you pay your taxes on April 15th know that Dakota is going to spend some of that money I hope you will spend a whole bunch of it but he plans on coming home he plans on coming home and seeing his family. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Henrietta Skelplock and uh, Dee Dee Good Eagle have done a real fine thing in honor of Dakota. They know that it's customary when anyone is honored, there's money that is offered to the honoree so that they can share it with the drum who have given him honors while by singing special songs. And in this case, it was a Muckleshoot veteran song, general honoring song. And Dito and Henrietta are showing their love for Dakota and honored him by giving money to the drum so that Dakota the money that was offered to him and that was a token of his esteem in the eyes of the people that dance with him and they want him to realize that and they want him to keep that money. D. 
Judy Goodigal said that she feels especially close to Dakota because he has taken her as his grandmother. And whenever they have a chance, he'll go down to Oklahoma and he'll be at her house and she treats him like she does her own grandchildren. And she wants everybody to know that Dakota has a special place in her heart. Although she uh, mimicked the thing, I don't think she really does. Northern Cree, a stump. The family of Dakota McGirt wishes to give you thanks for singing that special song, that honoring song of the Muckle Shoot for Dakota McGirt today. I will say this one thing. You see that good gentleman there in the middle that's wearing Phoenix Suns, Nash? He heard that Bill O'Neill was traded to Phoenix and he wants to be traded to the Miami Heat, that's why that. But the trade has not yet taken place. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you very much from Dakota McGirt. Thank you one and all. We're going to have three intertribals in a row, Mandarin, Kozad, and Northern Creed. So, if you would please, take it away. Pictures 
We want to put out next year a, a good pamphlet or a booklet. And so out of respect for the Seminole Tribe, we'd like you to stay in your full regalia and uh, be ready. And you uh, drummers, please don't, uh, well, put on your best t-shirt is what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, Mandarin! Stacy Felix, we're Darryl at the Ryan Seminole Powwow in Hollywood, Florida. I've got ladies, Alex Smith here. with me. Everybody say hi. The say hi. Hello. All right, we got him up here. He wants to talk about what's so going on with Thunder Hill this year. Tell us what's up. You wanna? What's going on with Thunder Hill this year? Oh, Thunder Hill is just chilling over there. You know, they're always eating. They're always eating. They're fat. We're what fat. do you guys got coming up? Where are you going? <clears throat> We are going, let's see, first place is Washington, Washington University, and we're going to uh, ASU in Arizona, then we're going to uh, Gathering, Stanford. Busy year. Busy year. What else you got happening this spring? This spring? Mm-hmm. Um, CD? Well, basically, we're just doing the music. Just did the album with the uh, Harmony, follow-up follow to Harmony Nights. Uh, that one's going to be entitled uh, With All My Heart. And that's, gonna, that's with... Uh, hi. <laughs> uh, me, Cheevers, and Kit. And then uh, we got the guest artist again, the same from Harmony Nights. Am I supposed to be looking in there? Hi, guys. <laughs> 
um, Louis Ghani, and um, Anthony Wakeman, the flute player. So. And when does it come out? Hopefully by July. Hopefully by July, yeah. Any Thunder Hill CDs? Thunder Hill CD uh, live from Spotlight 29 should be out by April. So y'all's at Washington or ASU or Gathering, that's just when it should be out. All right. Well, thanks for coming up and talking to us today. Um, have a good weekend. Bye. I apologize for taking the time. You know, I know you want to watch close ads. So. <laughs> I lost my voice like right in the middle of <laughs>
Kevin Haywood Hay is from Cavity Kennel, Saskatchewan, Canada, a member of the Lakota Nation. He asked me to say these words on his behalf and I will honor his request. He said recently his own mother, his natural mother, had been sick. And his adopted mother, Edie Good Eagle, also was not feeling well. But today, he feels very fortunate and gratified that both of them are here at this celebration very well, in good health and in good spirits. And he's very thankful, so he wanted to show that good feeling that he's had by honoring the Kozad singers and that drum and blowing the whistle to add to the good feeling of this death. He wishes to say to all of you, Piramaya. Thank you. All right, thank you. Uh, over 2,000 viewers, 18 countries, U.S., Canada, Philippines, Germany, Brazil, Chile, and more. 49 states, all but Vermont. What's up with Vermont? They must not know Indians up there, huh? I guess that reminds me of that joke where they say, uh, this guy said, I want to get away from you Indians. And he said, you're ever going. And that Indian boy says, why don't you just go to hell? There are no Indians there. I guess they can send them to Vermont now too. I don't know. I like that though. We're moving over to Northern Creek. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, Northern Cree, our world champion drum here, they have some round dance DVDs, only four left. Four left, and they are a quality. You can see, uh, actually, people uh, really good. So it's good to, we're gonna come over to uh, Northern Cree for their inner tribal, so keep us going. Here we go.
Clear the arena. Roberta Winchief, we need you up here. Well, we talk your pain to Kashala Wakantoka. We talk your loss all my relations. My nephew here, he asked me to say a few words on behalf of the whistle. Mike One Star Jr. here. Myself. My name is Ron Goodigo, and I'm also a whistle carrier. Last weekend on the Rosebud Reservation, Founders Day for Santa Glesca University, they had their annual Wachipi. And at the time, one of our whistle men from that area, Ernie Running, he had a, he pledged four years for his son. Marvin Dickinson. And that was his fourth year to release that spirit. And he asked his father, Chief Crow Dog, to come. And what he had in mind at the time was to have a traditional special and a singing contest. But then he thought about it. And as a whistle man, before your time to meet the Creator. Some societies, you can give four whistles away. And he decided to son spirit, and he presented Mike here with a whistle. Me, Julius, his father here, and Joe Lafferty, we were called upon for the ceremony, a very sacred ceremony amongst the Lakotas and the Lakotas, they take your whistle serious. We do not play with it. At one time, I'm one that they honored from Oklahoma. But Mike wanted me to say a few words. This is the first time he got to blow his whistle to hit a drum. And he asked me to come say a few words on his behalf. During that ceremony, there was things that happened, but there was a reason. Through our teachings, his spirit was there. There were things that were offered pretty sacred. And I won't go into that, but it was just part of a ceremony that was taking place. And these boys here, we're all from South Dakota. We take him like a brother. And he just asked me to say that few words on behalf of his whistle to let the people know that Mike now has a whistle. And Julius and Mike said, the reason they blew their whistle, they want to thank the Seminole tribe of Florida for this Wachipi, the celebration that they have. And they blew the whistle on behalf of the tribe and their families back home. And maybe the ones that are, you're feeling a little sick, you'll get a blessing from these whistles that we can carry these songs on. And I want to thank the drum there, Northern Cree and Kozad, for honoring these whistles. But these gentlemen, these young men, that's what they wanted me to express to you, the Seminole tribe of Florida, for bringing all the people from the four directions to come way down here to be part of the unconquered nation of the Seminole people. Let's give them applause, the Seminole tribe of Florida. And our whistle man here. And with that, we don't want to take any much more time, so I'm going to turn this back over. My, what? Oh, yeah. I know you're still ugly, but yeah. You know, I saw a picture when I was walking over here, and it reminded me of Ronnie D. Goodigal Sr. 
It said, buy me a drink. I'm not drunk enough yet. You're still ugly. And I mean that uh, in the best way, Ron. <laughs> My buddy there, Ronnie D. Uh, we're calling out our tie, grass, 109 and 114, stand by, Northern Cree. 109 and 114. Also, uh, Mike, did you ever get your wallet back? Oh, good. We won't, we won't see you at the next power down here, or the rodeo. Oh, gee. For some of you that may have lost a wallet or a purse, evidently at center bar they've got your IDs hanging on the wall. There's a whole bunch of them up there. All over the center post and center bar, but um, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I guess it's small town life. For those of you that write bad checks, you know, at the counter you see everybody's bad check. They don't accept any checks for this. That's how they have them IDs, for those of you that know what I'm talking about. All right. All right, we have them all out there. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Grass Dancer 114. Raise your hand out there, 114. Also, Grass Dancer 109. Jeez, that guy's cool. He's very good his hand. We must have sore biceps from lifting those, uh, whatever it was lifting at South Beach. Yeah, heavier than he was. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a tie. Again, we don't know what place uh, there are five places this weekend, and uh, they're all vying for some prize money. And again, uh, at the end of tallying up all the points, these two have tied. And again, we don't know what place it is, but uh, how about putting your hands together for these two that have made it this far? These guys, I think, are from way up north. Yeah. All right, Northern Creek. Okay, here we go.
Canadian boys come down to dance to a Canadian drum. All of them from Saskatchewan, that's all right, I like that. It's not like they've seen each other before. Oh, but you guys sure make it look good. How about another round of applause? Oh, my. All right, we're gonna move on to the next tie that we have, and that's in the Junior Women's Smoke Dance, and we need these judges. Allison Smith, Carrie Jane, is it? Okay, I'm gonna read it the way it's written. Carrie Jane Housecat is written here. Sue Isaacs. Whoever, whoever, <laughs> Carrie Jane might. No, it's written that way. Somebody's your friend out here. Are you gonna hit me? Uh, Royce Cat. All right. Anyways, it's Carrie Jane. You're gonna come and help us judge. We need 192 and 201. Man. Okay, uh, I know you're mad at me, Carrie Jane, but Lawrence wants to accept my punishment. He, want, he wants you to spank him, he said. Okay, we have these two young ladies, and I don't know them, they're of the Iroquois Confederacy, one of the Six Nations. And uh, I'm sure that, what are, let's see, where are they from, Cam? One's from Wisconsin, apparently an Oneida. And then one's from Salamanca, apparently a Seneca. All right. Those are two of the six nations, and they're here in a tie. All right. <laughs> well, you want to do a Michael Buffer, they're shaking hands, but the, uh, Lawrence wanted them to rumble, but we won't do that. Okay, here we go, Cam Hill. so much I'd like another one, would you? Oh yeah, here we go! Then we forgot we didn't have our boots on. Another big round of applause. Thank you. All right. She's still looking at me that way, Dale. She's upset. Everyone, we do need to show Cam Hill our appreciation, our smoke dance singer. Let's give him a big round of applause all the way from Nations, Ontario, Canada. He's a member of the Cayuga Nation. Oh yeah, he wants me to tell everybody again what I said last night. After he got done singing, I said, uh, Cam, 
are you, what, which nation are you a part of, of the six nations of the Confederacy? He said, Cayuga. He said, do you guys own a pass of horn that says, Cayuga, Cayuga? And also, they texted him from back home, I guess. I guess those people up in Canada, Quebec and Ontario, and all the way up in New York, they like the idea that they have a hockey team, mascot name, Cayuga Belugas. Eh? All right, we're gonna call our chicken dancers out. Chicken dancers, come on out. Also, uh, Cam still has these for sale, is that right, Cam? $15, come and check him out, uh, Cam Hill. We're gonna call our chicken dance special out, and again, this is uh, presented by our uh, gentleman, William Osceola, is he coming down? William has his judges and uh, everybody ready to roll.